Hey guys, here playing Andromeda, and this is our Au Revoir Snitch build. Good times. It's a very fun deck to play. I'm not sure if it's there yet for competitiveness, but it's definitely a fun one, and it plays a bit differently than some other decks. Than most other decks, I would say. Most other decks are saying successful run. Whoa, 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 what's happening right here? Casting call on the Astro. Wow. Interesting. So we could do like snitch, snitch the HQ, play the zoo and siphon him. Probably not going to work. Or we dump all our money in this Astro off the bat. Say we do nine run, shake, shake. We're at Oh, three dollars, so miserable. I kind of feel like we let that go. Try for a later game. We don't have any film critic or anything to deal with this stuff, so yeah, he gets the Astro. Good for him. So let us check if we can siphon. It's a pop-up window, so we could have siphoned him. Ah. Well, siphon's still good. Two bucks worse because we are playing against Sync but still a nice trade of cash for us. Does he have it? He has it. It is the double Astro, is it? Nice. So we gotta start making some accesses in order to keep up here. Let's try R&D for something. Enigma. Don't wanna give him money right now. So we'll just start getting set up. And we'll go for the siphon again when possible. Play Pop Hopper for three cards. We can't really even afford to play most of the cards we draw right now. So let's delay that for a while. Let's check what this is. It's another pop up. Okay. Oh, I should have probably played. I don't know. I was thinking of getting, getting the second hour of war before we started running, but we might need a breaker. If he gets like a corroder out, or if he gets like a wraparound out, <clears throat> we're going to need to get our corroder in a hurry. So there's always a dilemma with a sports hopper because you can save it for the link, and sometimes the link is really good against, you know, like Gutenberg, Archangel, all these annoying guys that are otherwise tough for him to deal with. He's just letting us siphon him. Yeah, do anything else except let me siphon you. Because he has three bucks, he would have got one more from the pop-up and then he would have just taken it all. We saw reversed accounts. Don't know much about the rest of, the, of his hand. Okay, so let us try a... I don't want him sneaking through anything here. News team, okay. Presumably reversed accounts. Don't really care about that. Okay, we'll just keep setting up.
terminals are only multi-access, so we're going to have a hard time digging deep enough in the R&D. If we run, he'll get money on his pop-ups, which maybe we can work with. Maybe. So let's run HQ, snitch this. It's wraparound. Yeah, okay. Don't really want these cards. Want a little more money. Jackson Howard and HQ. Let's go again and see Jackson Howard again. All right. Should be okay on money now. We're looking for answers. Like, Corroder is really good right now. Then we can SMC for the third Au Revoir. Actually, the best card is Turning Wheel right now. We need to see Turning Wheel. I'm trying two copies in this list along with Quality Time as the third sort of influence point. Not totally convinced on it yet. Quality Time is definitely a good card for this deck because you get five cards right away and like right away is what you need with this deck. It's getting set up. That's the hard part. But then obviously you can have both turning wheel on the bottom of the deck and they just never come out. And then you have literally no multi-access. So a bunch more cards that are not turning wheel. Uh, we'll Earthrise that next turn. In the meantime, let's clear this Jackson. So we can draw for turning wheel. We can, can't really siphon effectively. You can just bring up wraparound. We could go in as HQ if we knew we had anything good. Architect. Casting call. Okay, fair. So we're going to discard Snitch Reflection. The rest of my cards I want. So I think we just check it again and see what else is in there. Enigma. Cool. Cost of run R&D, giving him a buck. Kind of, I'm gonna regret it if he finds a third, uh, if he finds a third Astro. There's the turning wheel, that's what we need to see. Um, mm -mm. I think we need to start making accesses, like real accesses. <laughs> Regret. Wish we had data dealer now, huh? So we've got what hedge wrap here, or sorry, wrapping enigma. That's the part we have. Bit of risk here because if he gets a breaking news, he can score it and trash our turning wheel, which is no good. All right, let's uh, check what's in here. Casting call, hedge fund, architect. Probably should check R&D here. I don't want him drawing anything good. Nice. All right. Three very good cards to have accessed. Bank job I have is a testing here. We could be really a lot of other cards, but I felt like it could help our early game against NEH. We'll see how that works in some other matchups. 
right now we're, we're up on the ground running and money is not our problem at all. We're really only even running here to charge our, 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 counter, or our turning wheel counters. The money is now pretty irrelevant. We have enough to clear any tags that we get, and that's the important part. He's digging. Makes sense. So he now can't safely discard agendas. We can check archives for a click. Probably a third news team. That's fine, we'll just take it. No, we see the architect is gone. We see that sword, a bunch of stuff is gone. Okay. So here's the dilemma. If we let this get rezzed, we will then not be able to turn wheel on it. But we need to legwork him now if he has anything in his hand. Jackson Howard. So you could do Croder, install Zoo, legwork in there and see four cards. Then our turning wheel game is a little bit in trouble. I think we don't let that happen. Oh, there's a QPM that puts us not really in a great spot. We'll just ignore that. Okay. Probably the, the plot could stop the Jackson. We'll keep that here. If he burns his Astro token scoring QPM, he's probably not going anywhere after that. I think if we just charge turning wheel and run R and D periodically, we'll be able to win that way. I don't think we need to let this get ice get rezzed. So he's going to go for Astro and now our hand is really forced to leg work. We didn't need to do this now, we could have done that mid run actually. Because of our link, we this, is, this does not require memory. so. That was a misplay there. But now we're okay to just dive in. Yeah, this should take everything out of there. Presumably he has the Astro and maybe a couple of KDs in there. He can't really discard them because we can run archives. Okay, so this deck performed pretty well. I was happy not having any exclusive party in here. That card was kind of a doubt. I want it to be good. So I want at least one of the six outs to be good, but maybe out of the ashes is our last hope for six outs to be powerful. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep playing this deck, enjoying it. It's really interesting how like we couldn't let this get flipped or it would be, or it would turn off turning wheel. Kind of a neat interaction. Unless it was just a play in ETR, in this case you can run, you can bounce off of it and get a turning wheel counter, but then you wouldn't get your money from Au Revoir. So neat stuff. Thanks for watching.